So the most anticipated conference of the year is Apple WWDC keynote address that reveals Apple's latest vision about products and services, right? So let me give my thoughts of some of the highlights uh, of what I've seen after the keynote address because it just went off. So let's go down and talk about it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So let's get into it. Up first on the keynote address, Apple talked about the new MacBook Air 15 inch with the latest M2 chip with better speakers, 18 hours of uh, battery life, more power, and it also have the Apple signature notch at the top. Now you could get this up to 24 gigs of memory, two terabytes of storage. It comes with eight core or uh, 10 core CPUs. So that'd be a nice fast, update for people that want to update their MacBooks to the 15 inch MacBook Air and it comes at a price of $1,299. So that is the new MacBook Air. So next up is the Mac Studio, one of my favorites, right? I have the M1 Mac Studio. So now it has the new M2 chip in it or the M2 Ultra for that mind blowing performance up to 192 gigs of memory. The M2 Ultra is the latest and most capable chip that ever been made by Apple, right? With high power CPU and GPU. There's no computer out there that comes close to these MacBooks, man. These Mac Studios is very powerful. Trust me, I know. I know. Now the M2 Ultra takes the Mac Studio performance to a whole nother level with higher connectivity, with higher bandwidth, uh, HDMI enabling 8K resolution up to 240 hertz. That's what I'm talking about. And not only that, but it supports six pro displays, which is really nice. Now the Mac Studio is a powerful performance powerhouse to kind of make my M1 Mac Studio obsolete. So that is a new Mac Studio. So finally, for the ultimate pro users, Apple has now unveiled the new Mac Pro with the Apple Silicon that combines the powerful chip with new PCI expansions to tackle the most demanding workflow. So if you're a movie producer, you need something that's very powerful. The Mac Pros is finally here. Now this comes with the M2 Ultra for real world pro workflows, right? If you're doing 3D rendering or 8K rendering and stuff like that, these are, this is going to be the machine for you. It comes up to 192 gigs of memory. Uh, it, this, I mean, it comes, it comes with a lot. This thing has eight built-in Thunderbolt ports, right? On the back and two at the top. It brings in PCI expansion to the Apple Silicon, right? Man, this thing is powerful. So this is the Mac Pro that a lot of people been waiting on. If you are that high echelon person that need a lot of work done, that get a, that need to get a lot of work done. And the crazy thing about it is it starts out at $69.99. So $7,000 uh, for this. Now that is a whole lot cheaper than the original Mac Pros that came out like $15,000. You know, if you want to get one spec'd out, you got to pay $25,000. So $7,000 for a very high-end Mac Pro, I think this is the way to go. So let's talk about iOS 17. Looks like Apple is bringing a lot of fun stuff to the iPhone, right? They're doing some uh, updates to Messenger, uh, new updates to AirDrop that provides uh, many ways to share your content between iOS users. Uh, if you want to share a file between friends and family, it's easy to do it now. There's some updates. Also, they did some updates with text prediction. Now they do have a new uh, app that's called Journal. So uh, that's something that's coming out later on this year. But uh, the features, the feature that I really liked was called Standby. Having a clock style widget like at your nightstand that uh, will give you all kinds of photos and stuff. But I like this stand here that they showed off in the key to the dress. It automatically shuffles your best shots, uh, your best photos, and you can take advantage of some widgets. You can have some clock widgets and stuff like that, uh, which is really nice. So look, iOS 17 is also bringing in some nice features, some enhancements, some capabilities that all iOS people always love. 
Uh, they're not making too much changes to any icons or anything like that, but they're just doing some full optimizations and they're just making iOS 17 more proficient and they're bringing some fun to the table, which is really nice. Next, Apple talked about the new iPad OS 17, right? That brings in some great customization and some good features and some personal stuff that you could do to your lock screen. Again, look like all these iOS uh, updates is all about the lock screen and iPad OS is bringing some new things to the lock screen, right? So uh, that is a good thing. Also, iPad OS is now bringing in the health app and it that's, the presentation is pretty good here. You get a bigger display so you can see more on the screen, which is really nice. They're also bringing in some updates to the PDF app, which is very good for business people and professionals. So there's some good updates here with the iPad OS, also with Stage Manager and more. So let's talk about the Mac OS, right? They came out with a new name called Sonoma. This is the latest name for the Mac OS. Uh, with some great updates, uh, to the Mac OS, they're bringing some widgets to the uh, home screen, which is nice. One of the things that caught my attention was game mode. What they try to do is kind of sway people into uh, the, the Mac system as far as gamers. Uh, game mode takes the highest priority of the CPU and GPU to optimize gaming, to give you that smoother uh, gaming experience, also with better frame rates. Plus, with all that power underneath the hood, I don't see no reason why Apple's not totally deep into gaming because you got the power, you got the CPU and GPU power. Uh, so gaming on Macs should be as good as gaming on PCs. So let's see what that's about. So coming up next, the wow factor, something that Apple, only Apple can do here. As I'm watching the keto dress, I am wow about these, this new product that they just unveiled, right? That's coming out next year. It's kind of Apple one more thing that they used to do for a very long time. Apple Vision Pro. Now these are awesome. This is awesome. I mean, it relies on your hands, your, your eyes, your voice. It's like magic. This, this is like a breakthrough innovation that only Apple could do here, right? It's called Vision Pro, and it's always synced with your iPhone, iPad, and Mac, right? You can view your notes, your messages, your photos, your documents. Uh, you can stay up to date automatically with iCloud. Um, Man, this thing gives you a complete computer system in, in like right in front of you. This is awesome. It's hard to explain here uh, what they just announced. As I'm watching this, I'm trying to take notes and I'm like, oh my God, what is this? This is so nice. Watching movies, playing games. It looks so awesome on this device. This is like a masterpiece. This is the product that we've been looking for that for a very long time, the hardware is next level. It comes with an M2 chip, and it also comes with a new chip that's called an R1. Um, wow, the price, $34.99, which we knew that it was gonna be pretty expensive, right? And it's coming out next year. Listen, the future is here. Only Apple could do something like this. And I'm sure they've been working on this for, for a very long time. Now, this thing has a multi-tool of cameras on here. Uh, I mean, you can have multiple windows open. You can connect keyboards. You can look at your, uh, your Mac and all of a sudden it pops up on the screen. Um, they have a lot of technology involved this, in, in this product. This is the one more thing. This is something that excites a lot of people uh, in the tech industry, right? I mean, Apple have now uh, is bringing out a product and it's again it's coming out next year a product that's for business if you need multiple displays open to get a lot of work done if you're doing conference calls uh, and you need to have multiple people on the conference call if you're a gamer or uh, and they they connect it with Disney so they can give you these immersive this movie experience plus it has spatial audio and stuff like that this thing got two chips in it God, this, this, I, I don't know what to say. When, when I'm watching this, I'm wild away. Me as a tech enthusiast, looking at a product like this, I know it, that it was going to be expensive. $34.99, I knew it was going to be expensive, but looking at the functionality and the capability and everything that you could do on this, uh, this is, 
this is next level, man. I, I really like this. It's something that I, I, I'm sitting up there watching this like I don't know what to say here, right? I can't. It's like it's hard to go into detail about a product that when you look at it, you've seen the innovation involved in it. You've seen a lot of stuff involved in it. you just like, how could, it's nothing, it's, I want it. Like, I want it. Like, can I have it today? You know, definitely uh, it's something that's going to be uh, on the menu for me to buy in 2024. But I wanted to jump on here and give you guys my thoughts about some of the products and services that they brought to the table. I like the new hardware, which is really interesting. M2 Ultra for the Mac Studio, something that really caught my attention. Now, this was a very interesting keynote this year, and I really do like the hardware upgrades. Look, make sure you subscribe and check out more for our lot with our live stream that we got going on this week uh, to hear a panel of great people that we would discuss everything about Apple, what we saw, what this keynote address. So go ahead on and make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that live stream that we have this week coming up. This is Eric the Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about WWDC 2023 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.